All right. One of the things we're experiencing right now in Tampa, Florida, is this mass migration coming from all over the country. There's three main areas that it's coming from, mainly the Northeast. We're talking about New York, New Jersey, Massachusetts, the Midwest. We're talking about Michigan, Ohio, Indiana, Illinois. And then on the West Coast, we're seeing a lot of people come from Oregon, uh, Nevada, even uh, Seattle, Washington, and California, for sure. And they're all coming to Tampa, Florida. And they're coming because this is a great place to live, number one. Number two, the affordability is outrageous, especially compared to those areas. Um, and the big thing that people are asking when they're calling is, hey, what are the best areas? Or, hey, I've done my research and we really like these areas. And the one we're talking about today, Fishhawk, is one of those areas that is extremely desirable. Um, if you're local, people know about it. They definitely want to live there. But we are seeing more and more people reach out from across the country looking to relocate, and they've got their eye on Fishhawk. So today, we're going to break that down. Uh, I intend on doing a full vlog tour in the future. Um, but today, I want to get in. I want to show you the map. I want to show you the amenities because y'all, if you're not from here, this place has a ton of beautiful areas, hiking trails for days, the club amenities. There's a lagoon and a slide and Olympic pools. And it's just an incredible place to relocate to. And what we're going to do today is we're actually going to open up the map and I'm going to take you right into Fish Hawk. We're going to look at the area. We're going to look at the map view. We're going to look at the neighborhood, the amenities, the trails. We're going to show you where all the little secrets are. Um, and if you stick around to the end, I've got some really neat surprises for you, some bonuses too that I'll share with you guys as well. And we're going to get after that right now. Hey everyone, Juan Akala with the True Living Group here in Tampa, Florida. And if this is your first time to the channel, we make tons of videos about all things Tampa Bay. What it's like to live here, what it's like to play here, what it's like to live the Tampa life, the food, the dining, the outdoors, the beaches and the sunshine. And if that interests you, we're going to get to that right now. If you're new to the channel, we make tons of videos about Tampa, Florida. So make sure you subscribe and hit that like button so you can be notified every time we drop a new video. Honestly, we're getting a ton of phone calls every single day about relocating to Tampa, Florida. So if you're considering relocating, moving, investing, or buying a second home in the area, please feel free to call, text, email, or message. However you got to get hold of us when you're considering moving to Tampa, Florida, we've got your back. All right, so what's the deal with Fishhawk? I mean, we are getting three to five phone calls a week from people relocating all over the country. And we've got people coming from the Northeast, from New York, New Jersey, Massachusetts. They're coming from the Midwest, Indiana, Ohio, Illinois. They're coming from the West Coast. We're talking about Oregon, uh, Washington, and California. And they are calling and asking about fish hawk specifically. Well, why? Why is everybody asking about that? Well, if you look it up on the map, it is ranked one of the best places to live in all of Florida. It's ranked one of the best places to raise a family in the Tampa area specifically. The schools are incredible. And we're going to get to a lot of those details today, guys. I'm going to open up the hood, so to speak. We're going to look at a map view. I'm going to dig into the specific areas and locations. So if Fishhawk is on your radar, you can really kind of dial in, um, you know, from a bird's eye view from somebody who's local boots on the ground here and give you a perspective about, you know, what's great, what, what you might want to look out for. Uh, but most importantly, where, where would I want to move if I'm going to move to the Fishhawk area? So if that interests you, stick around. All right, so the first thing I wanted to do is show you where this is relative to Tampa. As you can see, Tampa, downtown Tampa is to the west of Fishhawk here, the northwest. Um, and it's about a 30 minute drive, depending on traffic. Um, it can be as much as 35 or 40, you know, if there's an accident or something going on. And if you've got a little heavier foot, you might be able to sneak in there in about 25 minutes. So if you're trying to get perspective on how long it takes to get to that area, you know, this is going to be super helpful. Okay, so now we're going to get into some of the details about what's going on in Fishhawk specifically. And I want to start by talking about the surrounding area because there's a really cool little nugget that I'm about to share with y'all um, that you probably won't see on any websites um, that I, I definitely think would be an interest to you. Um, if you take a peek here, um, you can see it right here and you'll see it right here. It's called the Alafia State Park. Now, what's going on here? Well, this used to be an old phosphate mine that they have since 
converted into a campground and horse trails and it's got award-winning mountain biking trails it's one of the places in the area that actually has some elevation and for those of you that don't know or you're not from the area florida is flat we're at sea level there is not a whole lot going on here so whenever you see hills um, and peaks and valleys it's a miracle in the state of florida because that's not common uh, to give you perspective, my father-in-law, who lives on the ocean side, uh, lives on an area where he's like 60 feet above sea level. And in Florida, that, that's like a mountain. So I know from where you're from that you guys are probably living a few hundred feet above sea level. That's pretty normal for most people, but not for us. We are right there hanging out. But this area here has all these different elevations, and it's what makes this spot so cool. The camping's great. Now, just a pro tip, if you're going to come here and camp, you better reserve early, especially if you're considering coming in the winter because Florida state parks are absolutely, they are blown out, busy. And the reason being because our winters are amazing. That's why people love to come here. So if you're going to come here and take advantage of these wonderful mountain bike trails, I strongly suggest grabbing your reservation extremely early. But if you're local and you live in a place like Fishhawk, this is awesome because you can just jump over, take advantage of these beautiful trails. I think there's over 20 miles of biking and hiking trails there. It's just awesome so i wanted to give you guys that little insight right away and then we're going to jump back into fish hawk here because i mean we're talking 15 minutes away from you which is fantastic so let's dig in a little bit now fish hawk is a planned community development and right now i think the population is somewhere around 22,000 people uh roughly 83 to 85 percent of everybody who lives here actually owns their home which you know that helps strengthen the community the schools are a rated now when i share that information with you guys this is public information that has uh, been pulled together by sites like you know uh, niche.com and and the local boards um, and these have been voted on as well so this is not my personal opinion this is actual information that and i can share the website Sites, they'll be down below for you uh, but I just want to share that information but the community as a as a whole was rated as one of uh, West Florida's first green communities meaning that the developments they were doing were um, were really good and really ecological friendly um, number one and number two uh, they had high head energy efficient ratings too. So these are really well built homes um, that I think you guys will find that are that are, are just absolutely stunning when you take a look at them as well. But let's dig in and get a little bit deeper here. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start on the west side here in the Fishhawk Ranch area. Um, and when you take a peek on this side over here, there's a lake over here that I want to show you guys. And there's some really cool amenities. The one thing you need to know about Fishhawk specifically being a planned development is that specific neighborhoods have access to specific amenities and they've got all these beautiful clubhouses. We're going to show you guys some of those. Um, there's water lagoons, there's a uh, sport development, they've got an aquatic center, there's a sports complex, there's hockey. There is so much stuff going on in this area and all of the trails. Why I wanted to get really deep on this map is to show you guys what's going on specifically. And when you look over here um, on, uh, on Huto Lake over here, there's really good bass fishing and bluegill fishing, which is incredible. There's all these houses that line the lake specifically. And the thing that I wanted you to take note of is, is the lake house and gym. This is a, a public amenity that belongs to the actual community itself. So, you know, you've got a lake house. The lake house is awesome, y'all. It's got a, it literally sits right on the lake. There's a fire pit outside, a park, all of this beautiful nature for you to take advantage of if you live in the area here in the subdivisions and you can see what i want to show you is these little green areas right here these are all trails they're paved trails in and they all interconnect through the entire Fishhawk community. Um, there's roughly 70 neighborhoods, I think, at this point. There is quite a bit going on here, guys. So I wanted to kind of dig in here and show you. You've got Fishhawk Creek, which is running through here as well on the west side. And you can see these developments connect to each other. If you take a look over on this side right here, you can see that you've got oh, that you've got actual trails here, right? And all of a sudden you see these dotted lines. Well, those dotted lines are hiking trails or they're not paved, which is really cool. So if you want to go out and do some um, touring outside, you can. This is the Osprey Club area as well. Um, right here, you've got a, a Fishhawk Skate Park, which is a wonderful spot for the kids. And you can see it on the side. I wanted to pop that up. Man, what a cool spot. And when you look even closer, there's another park right beside it. You've got the Osprey Ridge Park, which is local. Look, more trails all around the community here. This place is so awesome. And I want to show you some other stuff too. And you got Fishhawk Creek up here as well. Let me 
get this out of the way because I want to show you guys some really neat stuff. Lithia Springs Park, which is at the north side of Fishhawk itself, right? And then over here, you got Fishhawk Creek Nature Preserve, which is, again, just a beautiful place to go hang out. Lots of trails. All these trails connect and converge on the creek here. You can see them coming in from each one of the neighborhoods. Um, but I also wanted to talk about the spring specifically. Where did they go? There they go. So Lithia Springs State Park. Here's what's cool about the park here, y'all. This is a natural spring, and this spring stays 72 degrees all year round. It's a great place to go swim, especially in the summer when the water temp in the Gulf is right around 88 or 89 degrees. It gets pretty warm. It's like bath water. Um, the one thing I always tell people is like when they ask about the Gulf, it's, it's like because the air temperature sometimes is the same as the water temperature, which is crazy. So you just walk in and you just get wet. So to be able to go someplace where you can have a refreshing, cool swim is awesome. And this place is local. I mean, what a really cool spot. Um, you've got the Sterling Club here. Again, these, some of these amenities belong to these neighborhoods specifically. But what's cool is all of these clubhouses in each one of these neighborhoods have their own pools. Um, some of them have an event center. There's the... Um, the Palmetto Club, which you, they do weddings there. It's a beautiful facility. We're going to show you some of those highlights, too, as you look in. As you look to um, Central Park here, you can see the Fish, a Fishhawk Sports Complex where there is you know, rugby, there's soccer, there's baseball, all kinds of uh, sports fields there in the complex. And then this is Newsom High School, which is an A-rated high school. Um, that is one of the best high schools in the entire region. And we're talking about Tampa, the greater Tampa Bay area specifically. So I think it's a great spot to check out when you look at it. And um, as we discussed earlier, we were talking about that Palmetto Club right here. Let me take a little zoom out a little bit so we can give you guys some perspective. Uh, we went too far. But we come check it out. Yeah, you got the Palmetto Club here. And um, I'll try to pull it up on the side here. But this, yeah, the photos aren't great. But there is a beautiful banquet facility here where you can rent out. You can have weddings there. It's just phenomenal. Definitely worth checking out. And the Fishhawk Aqu Aquatic Club. And I'm going to click on this because this thing is crazy. Um, the Aquatic Club specifically has a, as you can see, a waterfall. They've got a slide, a lagoon, splash pads for the kids. They've got Olympic-sized pool. They, you, they've even got pool volleyball here this aquatic center is crazy so you know whether whether you're uh you know a single person or you've got a family this is a great place to go hang out get refreshed have a great time just another one of those great local spots and i want to zoom in here a little bit to show you the accessibility from from the outlying neighborhoods um, and just how how convenient they make everything you see these trails they run off the main roads and they run all through the communities here you can see these trails just coming around and this leads right up to the aquatic club here i mean what a cool way to get around your neighborhood and to check out what's going on in the entire area i just love it over here is to the to the west a little bit further you can see we've got uh Ibris Park here, which is wonderful. We'll scroll back out a little bit and we'll start to head a little bit to the northeast. You guys can see Fishhawk Trails up here. Another great location, the Secret Garden. I mean, there's so much cool stuff here, guys. I keep hitting all the buttons, but I just love sharing this um, because as you can see, I just love how all these trails connect and they make the area feel smaller than it is. You know, with a population of 22,000, it's not huge, just so you know. Um, it, But it feels and lives like a small town, even though it's a sprawling suburban area, which I think a lot of people, you know, if, when they're trying to get to the suburbs, that's ideally what we're trying to accomplish. You know, you want to be within a half hour of a major city normally, and you want to have some room um, where you don't feel like you're right on top of each other, but you also want to have amenities at your fingertips, which is super important. And this area has that in spades. You know, when we talk about local amenities, you know, you start talking about um, the all of the shopping that's available to you. You can see this. You've got the high school, and right by the high school, you've got um, you know, this is a uh, Fishhawk Ranch uh, shopping center here. You can see it right here. It's super convenient. You know, you've got your Starbucks, you've got your Publix, um, you've got some fast food here, but the high school is here. The sports complex is directly across the street. You know, just a great spot. You've got the Children's Academy all the way to the east over here. Um, and, and as we go down, we talked about the Palmetto Club. 
We talked about the aquatic club already, and you can see all these little reservoirs and creeks that run through here. Um, and the the thing about the creek here is the the creek in Fishhawk, you know, it dumps into uh, the the Alfea. Uh, river. And again, we talked about the state park there. So you kind of know where the water is headed going down, but you can just see all of these trails. I love to share this stuff. So, you know, we start talking about, you know, where would you live inside of these areas? You know, you can really take a peek, um, neighborhood of Osprey. And then we start talking about things like, well, what does it cost to live here? It's like, okay, Juan, this is great. You know, you're showing me the area here. You know, I can see the, all these beautiful amenities, but like, what is the, what does it really cost to live here? And I'll say this, as of this recording, the median home value in the Tampa area is right around 360 or 3,000. And uh, as of right now, the median home value inside of Fishhawk is right around 414,000. So there is a bit of a lift there, about 40 or 50 grand, depending on where you are. And it can definitely get pricier than that. Um, but that's, you know, that you pay for the amenities that you get. When we move back to the West there and we go back by the lake again, you know, the house is on the Lake Drive here. You know, you're looking somewhere from 700 to just shy of a million that have sold so far to date. Um, so that's going to be pretty common. And then when you get out to the other neighborhoods here, you're going to be looking at, you know, that four to 600 pretty consistently. There are 55 plus neighborhoods in the area. Um, there are some condos that are 55 plus, but a majority of this is single family. A majority of this is wide open to young professionals, young families, um, older families and established families, I should say, um, you know, some really cool stuff. So again, the schools are rated A, um, you know, you've got the Lithia Springs Park, what we talked about with the 72 degree spring all year long, which is great. We talked about the, the, the nature preserve. We talked about the skate park. We talked about the sports complex. There's a hockey rink here, which is crazy. The aquatic club with the lagoon. Um, we talked about the parks, the lake house, which, you know, y'all the check the photos out of that. Cause it, it's just bananas. What's going on there. You know, you got Sterling club, central park, Osprey club, the Hawk park, uh, the Palmetto Club, um, the Aquatic Club, the Lake House. There's so much going on here inside of Fishhawk, and that's why people love to come here. So, you know, there is a tremendous amount of opportunity. Now, houses here go really quick, just so you guys know. They're up on the market typically, you know, in this market right now, we're seeing houses sell within a week, especially if they're in good condition. Um, it wouldn't be anything to see a house go in one or two days. But, you know, this area is wonderful. A lot, you know, the major employer in the area here is MacDell uh, Air Force Base, which you saw was off to the west, just off of Tampa Bay there. Um, and, you know, there's defense contracting. The employment here is wonderful. You know, the area there specifically, a majority of the people in, in the area are um, well-educated. If you look at the stats there, you know, over 45% of them have a degree or an advanced degree. The average income uh, in uh, Fishhawk specifically, I think is right around yeah, 120 grand approximately uh, per household. So, you know, on the, on the upper end of cost of living, and it definitely gives itself an opportunity to be in a, a more exclusive type neighborhood without excluding everyone. Um, it is harder to get in there just because houses go so fast, but you know, there are houses for sale in that in Fishhawk specifically for under 250,000 right now. Now there might not be when you watch this, but as of today, when I'm recording it, I checked it, there is right now, which is awesome. So, you know, there's so many neighborhoods we're talking I, again, I think there's 70 neighborhoods and there's still planned developments rolling. So I wanted to share that with you guys because so much going on here inside of Fishhawk. So I just thought I'd share those, those wonderful details. And like I said, we're going to jump out and uh, we're going to take it to the streets guys. We're going to start hitting all of these neighborhoods for you specifically so you can get some real good insights on what the neighborhoods look like and we're going to link a guide below so you can really get your hands around what it is that Fishhawk has to offer curated all in one spot so if you're looking for that check it out in the description you'll find it there if we can help you in any way i'd love to put my real estate team to work for you, feel free to call, email, text message. Heck, you can even DM me. But when it comes to relocating and moving to the Tampa area, whether you're investing, buying a second home, or you want to move your family here, just know that my team at the True Living Group has got your back. And until next time, we'll see you living the Tampa life.